What's up guys? We got a little adventure today. Got my friend Tyler here, yeah, which is, you've actually been in one of my videos before. We went snowmobiling together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But now Tyler has bought a Kit Fox from another friend of mine, Bronson, who you guys have seen. But you don't have your pilot's license yet. No, no I'm working on that. <laughs> yeah, so kind of put the carriage before the horse yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. But we're gonna go down, check out his new plane. You're gonna get a ride in it with Bronson. I'm just gonna go have some fun. Ready for it already? Yeah, I just give it a little, little taster, you know? Yeah. See what Soylent Green's all about. It's not Soylent Green. <laughs> Dude, that's the number one comment is, that's people. We're like, yes, in the movie. I will say, I love the name though, because I, I just think it's really funny. It is. That's that's pretty good. It's really good, actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm blown away. I was like, oh, I thought it was gonna be like, kind of like chalky and like, yeah, that's, thanks, Trent, that was good. <laughs> no, dude, I like crave these things. Today's video is brought to you by Soylent. Now, Soylent's making what they call the world's most perfect food. And it kind of makes sense to me. Basically, they make a ready to drink meal that you can grab and go. There's no prep needed, no cleanup, none of that. They're shelf stable for over a year, no refrigeration necessary, and they're super tasty. And I know that normally seems like that contradicts things that are good for you, but Soylent takes a science-backed approach to their nutrition. They're not following any sort of fad diets or care what sort of nutrition things are trending at the moment. Everything is based on their research and testing. And what you end up with is a very good for you meal that's tasty and affordable. Their meals range in price from about two to four dollars. So they'll fit into anyone's budget. It's actually cheaper than going out and getting fast food, which we all know is horrible for us. So how they are able to pack in such good flavor into these things, and I'm not joking when I say this, these are insanely tasty. They are not chalky, like Tyler mentioned. They are very good and they're good for you. Each bottle is gonna have 20 grams of plant-based protein as well as 39 essential nutrients. It's fully sustainable and Soylent gives back. They've donated over 6 million meals to those in need based on people's purchases. So it's something you can feel good about buying. So if you're someone like me and you're constantly on the go and planning time to actually cook and make a good meal isn't fitting into your schedule, I highly suggest you guys check out Soylent. The first 500 people to use the link below and use code TRENT30 are gonna get 30% off their first subscription. Thank you again, Soylent, for sponsoring this one. Let's get back to the video. I've got a backpack full of snacks right now because when I get hungry, I get weird. <laughs> we don't want that, man. The few times that I've like really wrecked my snowmobiles because I've been hungry. Well, we're not gonna let that happen. I got spare Soylents, so I'm just waiting for 120 on the oil over there. Got it. So this is why I had you move your van. I just use every inch, you know? <laughs> Your door is latched, you're harnessed. Door's latched, harnessed, right. copy. I'll lay into the throttle, let the boost build up just a smidge, just so it'll pull a little harder. I mean, we're heavy right now because we got full fuel on both of us, but. What? Wow. How long was that roll? Felt long to me. <laughs> <laughs> Felt long to you. Uh, it cracks me up. <laughs> that was probably 300 wow. feet, maybe? Yeah, a little different than Mark's Kit Fox. Nevada County traffic, Kit Fox 8, Juliet, Juliet, left downwind, runway 7, full stop. Nevada County, Kit Fox 8, Juliet, Juliet, left base to final 7, full stop. Nice one. Thanks, man. And Nevada County, Kid Fox 8, Juliet, Juliet, clear of 7. Good to see you, man. Yeah, you too. I'm bummed you keep selling your airplane so we don't get to fly together. <laughs> I know, but now you got more people that are going to yeah. fly with you. And I'll, I'll buy another out, one. You know? Yeah. 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 Nice. He lives closer to you anyway. You never yeah, fly with exactly. me anyway. <laughs> yeah, you're always busy. Yeah. Hey, give me the tour of the plane, of, yeah, yeah. of Tyler's new plane, Bronson's yeah, old yeah. plane. What did you do to it's, it since you got it? Uh, it was like bone stock when I got it. I put TK1 gear on it, Behringer brakes, 29 inch bush wheels, uh, the TK1 tail wheel, and then other than that, it's just got a 100 horse Rotax. Okay, we got two kit boxes and a mall. You excited? This is the first time you're sitting in it as the proud owner of the plane? Yeah, I'm like a little kid right now on Christmas. <laughs> uh, It'd be a little cooler if I had a pilot's license, but you know, we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll cut that. Ooh, six box, five to three, take on my five to three, take on my two five. Second.
Is this your first time flying in that thing, Tyler? Yeah, it is. Nice. All right, here I am on here right about a quarter mile. We'll be coming up on your right side. I think that's like the coolest thing I've ever done. <laughs> I've done some cool stuff. <laughs> it's definitely more fun than a snowmobile. <laughs> yeah. Tyler's first top field landing. Very first. Wow. Was it? You, you, very, you very and your cool. uncle haven't done any? No. Man, that was cool. It's insane. You can just land these. It's like a freaking dirt bike in the sky. <laughs> Now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now it's over, man. Oh my God. Manel, show me your plane, dude. This yeah. thing's beautiful. Check it out. So it's a uh, IO360 Continental. Okay. It's a 1977 Mall M5. It looks new. It was uh, pretty much fully refurbished. It was taken all the way down, zinc chromated, and then put all back together. Dang. Yeah. It was. It was the first plane that I thought I wanted to get because I have my wife and kid. Yeah. So I wanted to be able to put at least three people in it. And then I went around and thought about getting a bunch of other stuff and then ultimately came back to the first choice. Yeah, you've been happy with it? Right. Does everything. Doesn't quite land as short as, you know, other things. Yeah. So it's hard chasing Bronson around, but it does what I want to do. Yeah, I love the big back windows. You could put a tip box inside that. It's yeah. clean, man. Yeah. I'd put four full sets. It is fine, fully loaded, four up. Yeah. Yeah. Full fuel, be the hot of the summer and still climbs. Nice. Beautiful. That's how you land a super stole. How's it look down there, Bronson? Perfect. Am I on the right side here? Ah, uh, yeah, you can land there. Dude, look at this. Isn't this sweet? It's beautiful. This is beautiful. So funny, I, I got in the air and I'm like, where are they? And I'm like, oh, they're right below me. <laughs> like, that was already way too hot. Yeah, dude, that was a good slip. That's oh, thanks. Cool. What do you think, Tyler? I'm just blown away. I'm so in awe. <laughs> we went a total of a quarter mile. Yeah, maybe not even that, maybe an eighth <laughs> of a mile. We're gonna take off, skirt around Beale's airspace, and then uh, go over Yuba City and go into the Feather River. Feather River? Yep. Onward and upward, let's do this. Ready for spring. Oh, cool. There's a racetrack there at one point. A Cletus come by it. Well, hopefully the water levels are low enough on the feather. I wonder if it still has a giant rust in it. Yeah, I'm gonna do a, a left base right here and then uh, just do a low, low approach and see what it looks like. You can see the, the ruts on the south end of the thing. It looks like if we stay on the right side going southbound like we did or to the west, it should be pretty clear. You guys normally land uh, to the south? Yeah, heading to the north. You stay in foot, Trent? Yeah, I'll taxi off to the right here. Traffic. Okay, I'm gonna above you.
See, the weather's so nice, though. Yeah, it is. Perfect, huh? It's a nice day down here. Dude, look who the cat dragged in. Get it? Sometimes you <laughs> this find isn't a good joke. The river. <laughs> yeah. It's mandatory. Oh, this spot is sweet. Oh, hey, I'm Bronson. Oh, Bronson, Mike. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you. Sweet. It's pretty sweet, huh? Yeah. Is that a raft right over the ground? Yeah, it's raft. All right, we are going to, I think, try to hit another gravel bar and then work our way over to Auburn for lunch. Are you just eating at the regular restaurant or what? No, there's a brewery right there that has like food and stuff. Oh, let's yeah. do it. Fly again soon? Yeah, we'll do it. That was awesome. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Too bad you didn't catch up sooner. We would have hit a couple more gravel. I know. Next time, though, I promise. We're out of here. All right, guys. That's fun. I'm not going to give you a bye because you're coming with yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Made it back safe and sound. It was a fun mission, dude. Yeah, pretty that sweet. Was super cool. Very and now you finally got to see your plane yeah, and riding it. Yeah, see my plane. It's first time doing off airport stuff. First time riding in my plane, too. First time riding your plane. Yeah. Is, so, uh, solid day. Now you just got to get on the training side of things. Yeah, yeah. Finish the training. Yep. And get some insurance for my plane. Yeah, that's the holdup right now. The hurdle. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yep. Insurance is a pain, and for anyone that's not in the flying world, prices have gone up universally a lot over the past few years, and it's like it's no joke. Like it can be the difference between being able to fly and not, especially when you're trying to get insured as a student pilot for a tailwheel experimental. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, but you called Clemens. Yeah. Called Clemens. I'm I don't, gonna... I don't think I've told you guys, but I'm friends with the guys over at Clemens insurance. They're all aviators. They're good people. If you're into flying, you need to call them because they first call to them. Like their an initial quote was well under what I was previously paying. So it was like an immediate switch, but they just get it because they do all the same stuff that it's just good to know that the people backing you on the insurance end, like understand how it all works. So they're good people. If you're shopping around, definitely call Clemens. But uh, anyway, I guess I'm gonna push this thing away. I'm gonna show Tyler the house. You've never been here. No, I've never been here. Love to check it out. But I'm gonna put the camera away. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one out here. You guys know the drill. Like this video if you do. Subscribe if you haven't. Come be my wingman. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. I didn't do peace. Did another one. Did, did peace. commit to it? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't do the peace. <laughs> see you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>